My name is Pam Holcomb and I live in Urbana, Maryland. I have four children, married. Um, I, in 2000, February 2011, I went for a root canal and had a problem with the um, Novocaine and they weren't able to complete it and the, the doctor had said, you know, you, you need to go to your family doctor and just make sure everything is okay before we can, can finish this procedure. And I said, okay. So I did and she checked me out and she said everything was fine. So um, she's looking at her little, you know, the laptop that they use now and she says, you haven't had a mammogram in a while but let me write you an order for that. And I said, okay, you know, I've been putting it off, you know, I, I've been checking, there's, you know, there was no lump, there's no family history, it wasn't a concern, never crossed my mind. I went and they found um, stage two infiltrating ductal carcinoma in the mammogram. And um, I'm lucky that I live in an area that has wonderful health care and that my family is so supportive and that my friends and neighbors were there for me. Um, I had a uh, lumpectomy after a biopsy, um, went through chemo, went through radiation, and uh, now take tamoxifen every day um, to block the estrogen that this cancer is so attracted to. And hopefully, once I get through five years of this, um, two years from now, I'll stop taking it and I'll be golden. That's my hope. No, if I had given up, I don't think I would have gotten through chemo. Chemo was hard. That was the hardest thing. I'd rather have childbirth every day than have to do chemo again. It was that bad. It was hard. Your attitude is everything. Absolutely everything. You, you know, you, it, it, psychologically, it really makes a huge difference. I wish this was only an October kind of a thing, like Halloween or, you know, Thanksgiving in November. I wish that it was only a once a month kind of thing, but breast cancer is a year-round problem. I'm saddened by it. Um, the fact that this is bad enough that it has to be recognized on that big of a basis. Um, but it's awesome that these guys are giving the month of October to this and um, helping us, helping us as much as they can. It's huge for businesses like Century Ford to um, participate and to put up the pink ribbons and to um, have a team and be open for others to join and be so welcoming and um, it's they've been really great it's 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 important and if we could get more sponsors oh the happier we'd be